Hey guys, it is a Tuesday and that means it is time for another grocery haul. So if you are new, welcome. My name is Vanessa and about once a week I like to share a grocery haul along with the meal plan for my family of six. So I had Walmart delivered again. It's just been helping me stay on track, not picking up too many extra items. I can just put what I need in the cart and have it delivered. So that has been working great for me, although I have missed going into the grocery store. I know I went to Trader Joe's, but I'm thinking next week I'm gonna go somewhere. Not quite sure what store yet, but I wanna get into the grocery store and pick out a few things. We're actually running low on a lot of stuff as well. So it's time for a little bit of a bigger haul, but that is not what I have to share with you guys today. I just have a few items that I needed to finish out some meals for this week. So I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. I will pop up the prices so you guys can see what everything costs, and then we will get into our dinner meal plan. All right, this week's grocery haul is definitely pretty small. I did not <laughs> need much to get us through another week, and I kind of went for more of the convenient, and then I have some recipes that I want to make that I picked a few things up. So two non-food items. We are running low on paper plates, so went ahead and picked up our favorite, which is the Dixie brand. There's 150 in here, so that will last us quite a while and then this I just happened to see so this is called a cornet but it is for our chinchilla jasmine it's just a little snack so it's just a little like looks like an ice cream cone right I thought that was cute so I just got that for our chinchilla so that is like her little treat some like a bready items here. I needed some puff pastry sheets. I had some in the freezer, but they've already been used. So I needed some more. I'm gonna make some homemade pop tarts with these. And then we did have some croissants in our freezer, but we used all of those as well. So I went ahead and pick up some more because I found a breakfast casserole that looks really good and it calls for croissants. So went ahead and picked those two up. I think I'm gonna do, I just recently shared a meal prep video, but I didn't quite get to everything and so I just went ahead and added on a couple more things that I wanted to make so I went ahead and got those and you guys will see um, another meal prep video not as big but I still wanted to share some of the stuff that I'm gonna be making so you guys will see that in an upcoming video I picked up some Tostitos uh, because we have a couple like a taco themed items that I'm going to be making. So chips are gonna be good to go with that as well as some salsa. Um, I need some salsa for a recipe, but I also um, know that the kids love just regular chips and salsa. So this is the Fresh Cravings Salsa in the Mild. This was a substitution. So I had three of the like already made Nesquik strawberry milks. I'm just sprucing them up a little bit for Valentine's Day. And I guess they didn't have like the little individual ones, so they substituted me half a gallon of 1% milk, which is totally fine. And then the like syrup, which is fine also because if the kids really like the strawberry milk, then this is obviously gonna make more than three, which is what I had in my cart. So that'll be nice. So this is just a strawberry Nesquik syrup. And if you guys didn't know what this is, it's just like that Hershey syrup that I pick up. You just add it to milk and it makes your milk into strawberry milk. And then we'll just go over here. I did get one gallon I got three gallons last week and we do still have one gallon that we're just about to open it's Sunday night when I am filming this so um, we'll be good with this new gallon and then the one that we're about to open for you know until I get to the grocery store again at the end of this week I did go ahead and just put this in the cart my husband likes cranberry juice not something we pick up all the time, but it has been a little while. So I just went ahead and put that in there for him. It's the Ocean Spray 100% juice, no sugar added cranberry juice blend. And then as far as produce, this is pretty much it. Now we are pretty low on fruit, but I think like, you know, just getting through another week, we'll be just fine. So I picked up a bag of green beans. This is gonna go with a side to dinner. And actually all of these are sides for dinner. So this is a 12 ounce bag. And then I got two different bagged salads because just everybody in the house likes different things. There's a few kiddos that like the Caesar salad. Although looking at this, it looks really, really sad. Like I wouldn't have picked this up, but oh well, it is what it is. So I got a Caesar salad market side salad kit and then this one just looked good and these are the types of salads that I prefer. I like the salads that have like a whole bunch of extra stuff in it. So I got this one as well. I'll probably make them 
both um, for one night and just leave the dressing off and that way I have them for leftovers the next night or I'll just make one in one, who knows. But this one is the Salsa Ranch Chopped Kit. So it has like a creamy salsa ranch dressing in there, green and red cabbage, shredded romaine, tortilla strips, kale, carrots, a four cheese Mexican blend and green onions. And this is just your basic Caesar, the romaine lettuce, garlic croutons, shredded Parmesan cheese and a Caesar dressing. But like I said, short and sweet, not a whole lot going on this week. So this is what I ended up getting grocery wise, just the two non-food items. And now I'll share with you guys the meal plan. All right, time for this week's dinner menu. So last week with, was a little crazy. We actually ended up getting pizza one night and then we had two nights of leftovers. So I do have um, one of the dinners from last week I'm going to prep as a lunch for my husband and I and then because some of the ingredients are fresh. And then the other meal I just brought into this week. So I originally started writing my meal plan but I'm actually swapping these two right here. So I'm filming this Monday morning and we're actually having a chicken potato and green beans. This is a full, like full crock pot dinner. So we're having this for tonight. And then Sunday, this is everything from Trader Joe's. I just pulled that because this is something if what happened last week happens this week and we just, you know, life happens, things happen, dinner changes. This is a meal that is everything is in the freezer so nothing's gonna go bad i don't have to like scramble and try to make it fit into the next make it fit into the next week or anything like that so um this is the beef and broccoli the orange chicken and the fried rice so that's just a quick easy dinner that i can you know move around as needed tuesday i've got just a few fillets left in my freezer of mahi fish so I'm gonna pull that out. I'm gonna make like just like a lemon garlic butter sauce to go with it. I've got some cans of black eyed peas and I'm, I'm pretty sure these have like green beans in them or something like that. I know it has something else in it in my pantry and then I have a huge bag of wild rice in my pantry that we haven't used in a while. So this is everything that we've already got on hand that I can just throw together for a quick dinner. Wednesday, we're gonna have some sausage and orzo and then um, I got those two bags of salad you guys saw. So one of them I'll probably make for Wednesday and then we still have um, plenty of like bread that we can bake up to go with dinners and i think either the sourdough bread and then the little mini like baguette french loaf type of bread that i got from trader joe's um one of those two i'll bake for this night Thursday, we're gonna have Brenner, which is breakfast for a dinner. We've got plenty of breakfast items on hand, so I know that will be something quick and easy, and the kids really enjoy whenever we have breakfast foods for dinner. Um, Friday, I'm actually filming two different videos. So I've got like a freezer meal video coming up, and I have a, like a, full on just potatoes, like meals, recipes with potatoes coming up. So <laughs> I'm filming two different recipes for two different videos this night. The pork tenderloin is a freezer meal that hopefully I prepped earlier in the week. And in the freezer meal video, I know a lot of you guys like to see not just me prepping the freezer meals, but how they turn out as well. So I'm gonna prep the freezer meals this week and then over the next two-ish weeks, I'm going to be cooking the freezer meals. And then at the end of the month, you guys will see that video. But I'm gonna be making some pork tenderloin loin and then some cheesy potatoes this is a new recipe and it looks really really good so i'm excited to try that and then like i said i've got the two different bags of salad so we'll have one of those with this and then saturday this is another freezer meal we're gonna have some parmesan chicken and then i'm just gonna serve that over some pasta we've got a whole bunch of different kinds of like noodles in the pantry different shapes different kinds all the things and then we're gonna have some just good old skillet green beans with that and that is going to end out our week of dinners for this week. All right, you guys, so that is the grocery haul for this week and our meal plan. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. That just lets me know to continue sharing them weekly. Subscribe if you are new. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.